and welcome to another brilliant CD of how to live your life, how to feel in life and most importantly how to be in your life. The new TGI Breakthrough Experience is a wonderful program on being able to get the wow factor back in your life and to understand how special you are as a being. So through a combination of feeling depressed, feeling a lot of anxiety throughout life and a lot of fear, of course that's what most of us are in, is fear. So we need to understand the word of fear and beamism is just the cure for the fear. When we look at ourselves and we look at our minds, we understand the words that we use that describe a certain situation of what's really going on. And of course we look at that in a very materialistic way and that's where the fear comes from. Will I get through it? Can I cope? Do I understand it? Are my emotions going to keep running amok within my body, which is causing a distress in my body? Over the years, we've listened to many spiritual gurus and they spoke about love. So what is love really? And of course, we've seen it, we've had it, we've lost it, we want it, we search for it. But what really is love? Love to me is a naturalness. To have a naturalness within oneself to feel like that it's not about love because you're just being your self. And that self comes from an enlightened mind. It comes from an inner source vocabulary of the words that we use. In today's modern society, words are being used far too much. So what we're going to do is we're going to break down this system and keep it completely simple. I call it the kiss be me. Keep it spiritually simple being me. So we're going to look at the first aspect of who we are. Balancing my ego. Now ego, let's explain what is that. That's the person that you have become through all your experiences, through your pains, your conflicts, your emotions, the way that your mind is interacted with you and your emotions to cause a certain feeling. That is the ego. That is the pain of the ego. That is the personality that has been built by the many, built by your experiences, built by your family, your teacher, your friends, your experiences that you have gone through. So we try to understand this and turn around and say to ourselves, okay, what would have happened if none of them experiences happened to me? How would I like to be? Because the way that I see it, all we are at this moment in this time, right up to listening to me on this CD, is that you are an accumulation of your experiences. You are accumulation of your ancestral beings that have made you the person that you are today. So are you really being your true self? This system, the TGI system, is about finding the true self, feeling the true self, and being the true self. If we look at the word love again, finding the true self is in love. Feeling the true self is a feeling of love. Being the true self is the feeling of love. But let's change that word of love because that is still an emotional boundary. That is still an emotional limitation of what you expect love to be. We've all been shown and we've all been taught that the only thing that we can love is mainly one person or our family or our children. But we need to get to the aspect of that we love life. And the only way that we can do that is by loving the self. When we love the self, we can love life. And that is where we get that well moment. We want to try and gain that well moment where you awaken for the first time and you start to see life in a completely different way, in a loving way in a natural way. So balance my ego comes up in the first second chakra point. Now when the ego comes into play this is where all our pains and our conflicts are kind of affecting the way our body is and of course later on that's where illness begins to strike us and so therefore you listen to a woman she may have that moment in time or that time of the month where she feels fat, she feels bloated, doesn't mean to say that she's having a period But there is something there that she is digesting. There is something there that she is holding on to. And for sure, it's going to be emotionally connected. When we look at the ego, we're looking at this person that we don't want to be. The one that is causing us pain. So that's what we need to heal. We don't need to heal the dramas or the situations or whatever went on there in the past. Let's just take the one word called ego at this moment. And let's look at that as the personality that has got you so far in life. It's done its job. But now we have to almost kill off that ego because it serves us no purpose. Now, the ego will battle you. So I call this battling my ego. 
So we got battling my ego, balancing my ego, being my ego. When you look at a lot of people, they can be very egotistical. They got that very much, I am in control and whatever I say works and whatever I do goes and you listen to me and I'm in control. That's the ego that wants to control everything because he thinks that is the way that they live life. Once we've understood this, part of this ego self, and it can take some time, so don't think this is going to be an overnight sensation. You're here on a soul level, on a soul's journey. Now that soul, that energy, that creator source, that divine spark within you, loves all this stuff. It loves it, it understands it, it wants more of it, because it's knowledge. When we look at the word kiss, knowledge is spiritually simple. And that's where we're going to with the TGI experience of understanding that the meaning and purpose to life is to be you. To be you is to have a balanced mind, to have balanced emotions and to feel whole and to feel complete. Most of us are shown how to struggle in life, how to be in control of our life. And a lot of us get confused with our emotions and our intuitions. And so therefore we get confused about what is love. Is love an emotional content? Is it a need? Do you need someone? Because if it's a love that you feel that you need someone, if they was to walk out the door, you would completely break down. You would completely feel lost. You would be crying. You wouldn't be able to function the next day. That is a prime example of a need. When you are loving the journey and you're understanding the journey, people will not affect you not within their words and not within their actions because you would have understood that there is a divine energy, a divine plan here that is taking place. So once we've understood the ego, we've balanced the ego through the battling of the ego, we then start to move up onto the second and third chakra. Now these chakras are working in unison. We've heard many spiritual gurus talk about one, two, three, right up to seven. But one, two and three will always be working in conjunction with each other. And that's why most people suffer with an illness. Most people actually die from the one, two and three chakra points and the fourth chakra point, which of course is the heart center. And of course, the heart center is the biggest complaint on the planet. It is number one biggest problem in the medical field. So many people now are dying of heart attacks. There is more heart disease on this planet than there ever is. Now, why is that? Has our body been built to do that? Have we got to a point within our lives that the body can only take so much? But what is it taking so much of? It's taking so much stress. Now, stress is going to be coming from the first, second and your third chakras because that's all motion. All emotions building up like a volcano. Because we don't know how to understand this energy, we cannot heal it. So we'll look again at all the dramas, the situations, the things that have gone on in your past and it's all in there. And your mind is very good at reminding you that it's all in there. So if we took all that accumulation of experience and we looked at it and we said, okay, it's been tough, it's been hard. And we take that journey and we just take one word and we call it conflict. So I'm conflicting, battling my emotions. I'm conflicting, balancing my emotions. So what do we need to heal? We need to understand the word conflict. Once we give the body that command and we say to ourselves, now this is where the truth comes in, I am in conflict. I will heal this conflict. And your body has got an intelligence to just be able to take that one word and be able to say, okay, I understand what you're saying. Let's work together, body, mind, energy, to understand and to heal the word conflict. Try it in meditation. Just spend a couple of minutes a day. Now don't forget, most spirituality is a practice. You look at Buddhism, you will always hear them turn around and say, Buddhism is a practice. It's like anything, when you're a two-year-old child, you're practicing walking, you're practicing talking, you're practicing writing, you're practicing actually being a two-year-old, even though you don't know it. Practice becomes an habit. Once it becomes an habit, it becomes a natural thing. So therefore, you're naturally walking, you're naturally talking. That's how brilliant we are as a human. But I'm going to change that word as well as human because the way that I can see this, the beamy experience, body, mind, energy, so fits the bill of who we are. I've seen what humans do. I see how humans have acted throughout the centuries of life. And quite frankly, I think this is the word that is causing a problem. So once we understand and we take that word away human 
and we look at the body-mind experience that I'm a body and a mind and an energy or an emotion, then we can start to put things into different brackets. Therefore, we can look at the body, listen to the body, talk to the body, talk to the intelligence of that body. You then look at the mind, you listen to that mind, you talk to that mind, and you use inner source vocabulary to decide what words you use to talk to the body. And then you have energy. When the mind and the body is communicating properly, you give off an energy. You've heard it written many times, it's called a presence, to have a spiritual presence, to have an enlightening presence, or even the God presence itself. Look at the difference of when you're in fear, and you feel that energy that's very low, it's very binding, it's very heavy. That's like driving your car in second gear with the handbrake on. You're not going to go very far before the engine starts overheating and your brakes will start basically burning out. It's no difference to your body. This is how important it is to balance the body, the mind and the emotions. Once the emotions understand the mind, the mind understands the emotions and then the mind talks to the body and the body then gives off an energy. And what we're striving to do here is to achieve the energy as I said earlier on before, in the energy of what we call love. But I'm going to change that word of love because that's very emotional. Everyone is using the word of love in a very emotional way. But when we put that word and we put it to one side and we bring in the new word, natural. Naturally being me. Naturally being a body-mind experience. Naturally being body mind energy naturally balancing my emotions naturally balancing my ego you can feel that repeat that to yourself every time you feel stressed whether it's at work or a situation that you're going through or a bad relationship always bring yourself back to yourself relax breathe calm down pull in the command into your body balance my emotions balance my ego and therefore the body will start to regulate itself and you'll feel the stress levels start to come down this is healing in a very simple way in an amazing way and it works it is a truly fantastic way of understanding the body as we go further on we're going to start it in the third chakra now this is where most people are stuck. This is that gut feeling. You've heard many people say, you said it yourself, I've got this gut feeling, something doesn't feel right. And most gut feelings will always say, something doesn't feel right. But when does the gut feeling ever come in and say, it feels right? It doesn't. So that gut feeling is coming up on the third chakra point. Again, a very much a dangerous trigger point for illness later on in life. This is where, over a period of time, years of abuse, in the way that I want to put that there, because when the mind is talking to the emotions about a drama or a situation, you are abusing yourself and you're putting the body into conflict. Again, that is not loving the self and that is not being natural within the self. When we go up into the full chakra point, this is where the true artist comes into play. Now, we're going to be look at this in breathe my energy. If you suffer from anxiety or you feel again that you're getting uptight or angry or a certain situation is happening that you cannot control, the only way that you can control the situation is to breathe my energy. It's a fabulous command to the body. It goes straight to the heart. Now, the heart is an electromagnetic force that works with the one two and three chakra points that is the source that is the igniter that is the flame of life that is the very thing that got you started in life and that moment in the womb and it is still there so always go back to that point and that's why you hear gurus spiritual people always talk about the heart place to be able to speak from the heart but it's not even about speaking living from the heart talking to the heart feeling from the heart it's just that. It is a feeling. It's a naturalness. A naturalness comes into play when the heart is truly balanced. We move up into the fifth chakra point, which is communication. Look at the difference of when you very first meet a relationship. It's wonderful. It's brilliant. You communicate. You're singing. You feel good. You love life. You love yourself. Now, 
Does it mean that we have to keep being in a fresh relationship? No, it doesn't. And this is what the TGI experience is all about. It's being that new experience. Once you balance your ego, balance your emotions, and you get into that point of breathing my energy, we start to understand a different viewpoint of who we are.